Butch. Butch. I've been looking all over for you. That's all about. Good girl, Lassie. He must have been mighty hungry, but not hungry enough to take on this whole group. Yeah. Boy, uh, Lassie sure made him lose his appetite in a hurry. Well, Butch and I are really grateful to you and Lassie, Mr. Erickson. Is uh, Butch your 4-H entry at the fair? Yes, sir. I hope he didn't get thrashed up in these rocks. That might count against him in the judges. Oh, he looks okay. Let's get him on home, and I'll follow you in the pickup. Okay, thanks. No problem. Your father's expecting me anyway. Come on, Butch. Where'd you find him, son? Found him up in the rocks at Stone Canyon, Dad. Boy, it's a good thing Mr. Erickson and Lassie came along. There was this big mountain lion up there. Butch! Butch! Boy, am I glad to see you. Have you ever heard of having a bull for a pet? He'd let Butch sleep at the foot of his bed if he'd stay. <laughs> we raised him, didn't we? What's wrong with his being a pet? Well, your half may be a pet, but my half's a prize bull. Why don't you take them on down the corral, and I'll be along to check your 4-H procedures. Okay. Come on, baby, let's go. Well, it is a little late, but welcome, Bob. <laughs> well, you too, Lassie. You had some company last night. Someone must have left the corral gate open. <laughs> They've been out looking for Butch all morning. Raising that bull as a 4-H project must be quite an experience for the kids. Oh, uh, with some interesting reactions. Oh, Ken likes the animal, but well, he regards it as a, a means to earn some college tuition money. Just pure and simple. And Russ goes along with it. But Russ has developed a real affection for it. And it has caused some differences between them, Bob. The bull isn't really the cause. You know, there uh, comes a time when Big Brother isn't the Big Brother anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They're both grown up. 
<laughs> you know, one of these days, I expect one or the other of them to try to take on the old man. <laughs> but not soon. Oh, huh? no, not soon. <laughs> I better get over there. Oh, fine. I'll uh, put your gear in the room. Good. Come on, Lassie. Doesn't hurt, Russ. He's tough in there. That's it, Ken. Now use the point end to get the rear hooves lined up. Score pretty high if I were judging, Ken. I just let him relax a bit and then uh, you position him, Russ. You can learn a lot by judging each other. I mean, acting as judges at the animal show. I'm going up to the house. Your father and I have some 4 H committee work to do. Okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> You want to stay here, Lassie, or go with me? I guess that means you want to stay. Easy, boy. Come on. Put those feet together. That's it. Okay. Now the back. Come on. Put them together. Keep your head up. Come on, get those back ones back. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that's right. Good boy. These reports are good. These 4 H kids sure learn in a hurry, don't they? Well, as I said, raising that bull has been good for both my boys. But between that and the 4 H committees, I keep pretty busy. That's what you get for being an advisor. That's what you get for being a ranger. <laughs> Just came in to say good night. Good night, fellas. The bull looks fine. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Well, good night, Dad. Good night, Mr. Erickson. Wait a minute, Ken. You know about these things, Mr. Erickson. Does Butch have a chance to win tomorrow? I should think so. Very good chance. Well, that's what I think, too. If we show him, he'll win. And someone will offer us so much money for him that we can't say no. I want to keep him here, Dad. I don't want to show him. But we want to show him. To sell him. To get the money for the tuition to stay you. That was the whole idea. Well, he's half mine, and I say no. Now, slow down the both of you. You entered the animal, and that's the same as a promise to show him. And show him you will. But, Dad, don't you see that... He may not win. Then you'll have nothing to argue about. That's ridiculous. It sure is. Good night, Dad. Good night. Good night, Russ. Good night. Join us, Russ. Just enjoying a little of the night air with Lassie. Thanks, but, uh... Well, I think I'll take a little walk. Hey, Lassie, go with me? Sure. So nice, I was gonna let her sleep out anyway. Thanks. Come on, Lassie. Russ. Yeah? Worry never cures trouble. And sometimes after the trouble is over, it's really no big deal. <laughs>
will win. Somebody will buy you. All right, where is he? I don't know. You do too, know. I heard you go to the bedroom last night. Now, where'd you take him? I didn't take him anywhere. I left him right there. Russ, you're lying. Don't you call me a liar. <laughs> What's going on? 
on, girl. Come on, Lassie. Come on, girl. Now, take it easy. That's enough of it. You didn't put someplace, Dad. I have not. He said I was a liar, so I hit him. And if he says it again, I'll hit him again. Just settle down. Wait a minute, cowboy. Part of the 4-H pledge about clearer thinking and greater loyalty. Doesn't that apply to brothers? like Butch made a gate for himself. You two are going to raise prize stock, you're going to have to build stronger fences. Sorry. Never again. Me too. Never again. Save the day, Lassie. Thanks. For everything. Hey, you two fellas gonna get that bull ready for the fair? You ready, Russ? Yes, sir. <laughs> Stand up. Makes him look heavier, huh? Well, it'll make him look prettier, too. Your attention, please. Will the two year old class come in the ring? Well, that's you. There's someone I have to meet who's waiting with your father. Good luck, fellas. Stay here, Lassie. Well, Russ, this is it. Let's go. Ken, do you mind showing him by yourself? I just don't feel like it. OK, Russ. champion because I feel that he has extreme depth, a lot of fullness in the region of the heart. He is a muscular kind of bull with a nice long rib from his hip to his pins and shows the thickness throughout to produce the right kind of beef cattle for our consumer public. I like the breed characteristics and the massiveness that this bull shows over his competitor, the reserve champion. It's gotta be Butch. 
But maybe Butch is only the reserve champion. Russ? Which one champion? We knew he would. Russ, we don't have to sell Butch if you don't want to. Thanks, Ken. But that's not fair to you. What about the tuition money? Well, we'll just have to find some other... It occurred to me last night that you two fellows needed a representative for your cattle business. So I took the liberty of talking just now to Mr. Vaith, the man whose company wants to buy your bull. Your champion bull. Now, here's his offer. $2,000 for the outright purchase of Butch. Or $1,500 for exclusive breeding and exhibition services of Butch on a fee basis. A sort of rental deal with the rent paid to you in advance. After the company uses up the $1,500 in Butch's service, he is returned to you to keep. We keep Butch and get the tuition money. Deal! Well, this calls for a celebration. I'll stand the treat for anything they have on a midway. 